Welcome back to another unsolicited and unedicated football analysis by your friend David Valentin. This time to talk about the latest on Orlando City. We continue to await more signings. Uh, it appears that the situation with uh, Gaston Gonzalez, aka Picotón, uh, out of Union in Santa Fe, Argentina. Uh, is actually getting traction. It looks like there may be some negotiations that will lead for the player to uh, come to Orlando City. So we are in expectations about that. The other thing is Orlando City with Facundo Torres and Peñarol appears is leading into the final signature once and for all. And if you have been following me on social media or on this channel, you know that this probably is the longest signing in the history of the universe. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Now, um, on top of that, um, uh, Orlando City has re-signed Alexander Pato, the Brazilian super talented individual, uh, suffered a what appeared to be at the time a season-ending injury the first game of the year. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Pat only took place uh, or took part, I should say, uh, of five games at the very end, uh, and was a non-factor. Let's just uh, let's just admit that Pato actually had zero uh, input in what could have been. Unfortunately, uh, I guess the free kick against Nashville that should have guaranteed us. A fourth spot in the playoffs could have been considered uh, a factor, but because the goal was nullified, uh, then it doesn't really matter. A lot of people have a lot of um, questions about this. Uh, should we sign him? Should we not? I'm like, well, he's cheap, and um, he personally feels that last year should have uh, had a better year. Unfortunately, injuries come when they come, and um, why not? You know, you don't um, kick a player of this quality to the curve. You just don't do that. Nani has found a, a new home um, tomorrow. I'm recording this on Saturday night. Um, tomorrow, for Sunday, and by probably the time you uh, get to see this, uh, he'll have his debut with uh, Venezia. Uh, in the Serie A, the first division of uh, Italian football. And I'm super happy for him. He still has gas in the tank. A lot of people have asked me, hey, do you think that maybe Orlando City uh, pulled the trigger too soon? And quite honestly, uh, I don't know how to answer that question. Do we need to bring very young talent to lift trophies? Absolutely. Would I have loved for this club to have a space for Nani? Absolutely. I just don't think the money was there. And uh, I don't think Nani would have taken a pay cut either. Um, so it is what it is, but we wish him well. He will be the eternal captain here in Orlando. Daryl DK had his debut with um, West Brom. Unfortunately, uh, they lost 1-0. But he came in as a sub. I don't think there was a lot of minutes for him to make a impact. Um, so we'll be cheering for the man. Um, me, the fan, says I'm cheering for the man. In reality, he's no longer a player here. So, you know, <laughs> their problem, not ours. Um, the other thing, uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday, uh, should be the debut of uh, Chris Mueller. A lot of expectations. There's some rumblings there saying that he's not fed, that blah, blah, blah. Again, as a fan of Orlando City, I'm supporting my boy. And whatever he does with his new team, not our problem. Now, that that's all out of the way. Let's talk about what we came here for. And that is the our club releasing the newest uh, or the latest, I should say, uh, schedule of what's going to happen in the preseason. As of tomorrow, the players are going to start reporting to the club for physicals, 
Uh, those physicals are going to be taking place um, Sunday and Monday. This is primarily going to be for players who are here locally uh, and uh, those who are returnees. Uh, just make sure everything is fine. If you have been following the social media of a lot of our players, they sort of have been posting pictures at the airport, heading back to Orlando or here locally. So that's what you should be seeing uh, on uh, Sunday and Monday. Just regular checkups. On the 18th, which is Tuesday, it will be the first day of training for 2022. And this is going to be at the Orlando Health Training Ground at Osceola Heritage Park, better known as 1000 Bill Beck Boulevard, down in Buenaventura, uh, in Kissimmee. Um, then on Sunday the 23rd, there's going to be a scrimmage against a pre, a to be determined MLS team, a closed door. And Thursday, February 3rd, there's going to be another closed door against Minnesota United with our beloved Inchi. Um, then you're going to have Saturday, February 5th, with another scrimmage against Dallas. Uh, February uh, 11th, uh, another scrimmage against Colorado Rapids. Uh, the 16th, February 16th. There's going to be one against the real Miami FC of the USL. On the 18th, there's going to be a scrimmage against FC Cincinnati. On the 19th, there's going to be a scrimmage against the hated Tampa Bay Rowdies. This this is going to be one that I will pay money to go see. Uh, Tampa Bay Rowdies and Orlando back in the USL era. This was the... Uh, rivalry that you wanted to see this is unadulterated uh, just 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 football rivalry it's everything that a rivalry should be and uh, the one moment where I seriously hate the fact that these two teams don't see each other often and in open cup unfortunately we have never matched uh this 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 is the one that puts the war on i4 uh this is the one this is the one that 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 says who's the king of central florida and so we're gonna have that and uh february 27th we're gonna have our opener against uh cf montreal so now, now we are seeing what we're looking at originally uh the team was supposed to go to mexico but with the spike of uh COVID cases and all the other situations that are happening uh throughout the world um well you know uh it's it's out of the question which is sad i think that uh the idea of going to mexico is a great one hopefully next year we'll get be able to do it uh you know just take everybody out of their comfort zone team building everybody gets to uh, know each other on a personal level and that's what creates successful teams in, in, in my humble opinion but uh, we can still do that here in orlando um the cool thing is our weather and uh the atmosphere of our state uh provides the ability for us to train locally without having to uproot the team and uh, i expect that to happen now cesar araujo and facundo torres which everybody knows it's going to be online are actually going to be involved with the Uruguayan national team um they have two friendlies if they're not friendlies they are uh, dates uh fifa dates i'm not 100 percent sure and please excuse me uh for not uh, checking that but that's on the 27th of january and february 1st so we should be seeing them uh, here in, or in Orlando, first week of February, um, at the earliest, and I'm assuming that that will be something that um, uh, Oscar Pareja will want. I would like to see the boys, and if Gaston is coming or whoever else is coming, because we have to, my friends, we have to, we have to get our team gelling. We can't show up on the 27th. 26 by the way is the first day of the season 27th just happened to be when we uh, open our season um we can't have opening day and players still uh trying to get in the groove of things 
each game counts. Three points on the table, and we have to win. It's a Montreal team that I don't think has improved compared to last year. Uh, it's a Montreal team that wants revenge. It's a Montreal team that is going to be playing as the away team. We have everything to win this. We have improved our attack if all this uh, new signings come through for us. And uh, we're going to be at home and uh, there's no excuse. I want to break the curse of the fact that every year since we came into MLS, with the exception of 2017, we just tie the game. I want to win. And um, uh, a win here will basically propel us to a savage um basically season fast pace breaking neck speed uh since it's a uh season that has to finish before the world cup starts so we'll see what happens then um again i want to invite everybody to uh, watch uh my new show alongside Luis Pineda, uh, Loud and Proud Orlando. Uh, look for that channel, Loud and Proud Orlando, Mondays live at 8.30 p.m. Um, and if you miss it, well, it's archived in the channel. Um, you can f follow Loud and Proud Orlando uh, on Twitter and uh, Facebook under that name. Um, you can follow uh, Tiro de Esquina, my Spanish language podcast, uh, on Twitter at Tiro uh, underscore City and in Instagram Tiro Podcast, Tiro de Esquina Podcast uh, on Facebook. There's a new episode for Tiro de Esquina. There's a new episode for uh, Loud and Proud. And uh, this past week I was uh, with my friend Gavin. Uh, at MLS podcast, MLS now podcast, uh, talking about Orlando City and what's going on with Orlando City. So I invite you guys to go there. And lastly, I bought a new microphone. I bought a new camera this year. Uh, rather than recording the vlog shows or uh, the, the the blog episodes at the stadium with my cell phone, I'm gonna actually have. Uh, somewhat professional camera that hopefully will have better audio, better uh, images, and um, uh, you know improve somewhat the quality here. So, with that said, my friends, thank you very much for watching, and vamos Orlando.